everyone, it's Marshall Mallow and welcome back to my channel. This is a very spontaneous video. I did not plan to film this and as you can tell I'm in a different location and ooh. This is why I'm in a different location right now. So if you can hear that noise, my house is actually currently undergoing some renovations. So there are a lot of workers in our household right now just doing a ton of stuff. So I apologize for the really loud noises. I cannot have access to my usual workspace at the moment. I felt like right now was the perfect time to film it because my emotions are still fresh and I didn't want to wait until later in the week to film this. Okay, you guys, so this Monday was a crazy day. Something freaking huge happened this Monday. Ugh. I can't even begin to comprehend that this actually happened, you guys. This just blows my mind that me, a little small person, that this happened to? I can't. It doesn't compute. Okay, you guys, so this story all started with the beginning of this month on Twitter in July. So basically, earlier this month on Twitter, Rhett and Link actually tweeted out that they were going to do this competition with United States fans. and. This competition, well it wasn't really a competition, it was more like a contest where it was like you try your luck at it. And what you had to do is you had to retweet their tweet and then fill in your information on like a Google form kind of thing. And you were just basically placed randomly into this pile and you were going to be randomly picked to see if you could win a limited edition book preview booklet to their book that comes out in October. So I was like, you know what? like. I'm a fan, I live in the United States, I'm not going to just let this opportunity slide. So I retweeted it, I filled it out, and I was like, you know what, let's hope for the best. I mean, what could go wrong? I enter once, I have as equal opportunity as anyone else. So about a week goes by after I retweeted this, and Rhett and Link said that they were going to send emails out to the winners on July 10th. Everyone on July 10th, I see tweets from so many people, not so many people, but I see tweets from so many mythical beasts saying like, oh my gosh, I am getting the booklet, oh my gosh, I won, or yada yada yada. And I was like, oh, they're so lucky, like, oh my gosh. And they just kept tweeting about it, and like people were tweeting like, you're so lucky. And everyone was just happy for others and happy for themselves, and it was just a good time. But I like checked my email, and all I saw was spam, and I just deleted everything in my folder like I do every day not really paying attention to everything I'm deleting and I just assumed I didn't win. I was just like, nope, didn't win. I good good for everyone else. I'm happy for everyone else. That's really cool. I get my book in October and I get to meet Rent and Link in November and see them live. Flash forward to July 18th on a Monday. Okay, so as I'm sitting down with my mom in the living room, the doorbell rings and I see the UPS man outside our door and he was carrying like a envelope kind of package and I was like huh like I ordered a Jacksepticeye shirt very recently I think like a week ago now and those usually take about three weeks to reach my house because it's international shipping and I was like that can't be my Jacksepticeye shirt already I only ordered it a week ago and I never even got an email confirming the shipment and I was like that can't be it because the package was under my name and like, I didn't order anything else in the past, I don't know, month? I'm not expecting anything. Is this like a surprise gift from college or someone I know just sent me something as a surprise? And it was basically this that came in the mail. Just, you see, like an envelope kind of thing. And I was like, I don't, I don't know what this is. And I never check the addresses or the sender's information on packages. I don't know why, I just never do. So I go to open the package and the first thing I see is like this boring like pretty much like shipping confirmation piece of paper and I throw that aside like I do with almost any package. But then I go into it and I see this like booklet thing like this thin pamphlet and I pull it out and I went like this. Like my facial expression cannot be described at all. I was just in pure shock. And I was like, did I win? That's the first thing I said to my mom. My mom was sitting right next to me and I'm like, I won. 
I won. And I, my mom was like, you won what? I'm like, I entered this contest at the beginning of July for Ren Link and I won. <laughs> So I went back through my deleted folder in my email. I got a confirmation email <laughs> just saying that I won. And I completely thought I was spam and deleted it, guys. I am such an idiot. I'm kind of glad that I deleted it, though, because it came as a total surprise to me. And I was just over the moon when I got it. I feel like if I expected it coming and I got it in the mail, I'd be like, oh my gosh, you know, like so exciting. Oh, I've been waiting for this. But now it was like, oh my gosh, I wasn't expecting this and it came. So continuing on with the story, it gets better. Yeah, yeah, just like my other Rent and Link story, it gets better. So I tell my mom when I get it, I'm like, mom, I want to tweet to them and I want to take an artsy photo and wearing my merch and tweet to them. So unfortunately, I didn't think to wear my hoodie in it too. I thought I was maybe overkill if I wore my hoodie as well. But basically, I'll put the picture on the side right here. So basically, I wore my ear biscuit shirt I got for my birthday this year. I was holding my Good Mythical Morning mug that is now discontinued. And I was also holding the booklet. And I did like kind of like an artsy pose. And the color scheme worked very well and I was so excited and I was wearing my big dorky glasses like I always do and I basically tweeted out, I'll attach the tweet right here, I tweeted out to them and I basically said like thank you so much, um, I'm so glad to have you as a part of my daily routine because that's something that they always say in their videos. I mean I just tweeted out and I expected maybe like, maybe they'd like it like they've done in the past or Maybe they just see it and be like, oh, that's kind of cool, you know, not interact with it. The fact that they might see it but not interact with it, them just seeing it is good enough for me. So I was so excited. I shared it. I put my phone down after I sent the tweet out. And it was about lunchtime when this happened. So I was going, I actually tweeted about this too. I went to the freezer and I was going to go make a Hot Pocket for lunch because I was hungry and craving Hot Pockets. So I went to go make a Hot Pocket for lunch. And then all of a sudden I hear one and two Twitter notifications go off very quickly simultaneously. And I was like, huh, that may be just someone, like two people liking a tweet or what usually goes off is um, I get tweet notifications for Jacksepticeye and Rhett and Link. So maybe Rhett and Link posted and Jacksepticeye posted a tweet because it was around the time when Jack usually tweets for his videos. So I kind of expected it to be a Jack tweet and maybe just someone liking my tweet or something like that. So I hear those two notifications go off simultaneously. And then, not even a second later, so many notifications start going off on my phone. My phone is going crazy at this point. I just kept getting spammed. And I ran to my phone. I was like, what the hell is going on here? Why is it blowing up? And I scroll down because I have an iPhone. So on the lock screen, I scroll down all the way to the most, uh, the oldest thing. And the first thing that it was, was Rhett and Link liked your tweet. And then Rhett and Link retweeted your tweet. Guys, they retweeted tweeted me. <laughs> My number one favorite YouTubers retweeted me. I cannot comprehend it. Cannot comprehend it, guys. I have been a fan of these two YouTubers since two years now, and oh, guys. I got really emotional as soon as it happened. I went, I, my mom was upstairs at this point. I ran upstairs to my mom and I was like, mom, 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 mom. And she's like, what? And I was like, mom, <laughs> And I was literally like in tears and I, I didn't actually sob, I just teared up and I was just so happy and so in disbelief. And my mom was like, Oh, good for you. And I was like, oh, you don't understand. <laughs> you don't understand. This is like One Direction noticing me when I was like 12. One Direction never noticed me when I was 12, but this would be how I would have reacted if One Direction noticed me when I was 12. Like, oh my gosh, guys. Oh my gosh. So exciting that this happened. I was on cloud nine when this happened. And all of a sudden, everyone just starts liking it. I get a couple retweets here and there. I get a couple people commenting. And I was like, 
This is not real. This isn't real life. Am I dreaming? I kept like pinching myself thinking I was dreaming. Oh, guys. I don't mean this video to come off as me bragging about this or anything. I just wanted to share with you guys one of the best things that's happened to me because wow that was on my bucket list for sure to get a retweet from one of my favorite youtubers wow wow so amazing i can't i can't comprehend it i mean every morning now since monday i wake up to at least the 14 notifications of people still liking still retweeting it and it's amazing and i guess this is just me also affirming to you guys that we really do care to the bigger YouTubers out there. They really do care about us. They really do pay attention to us. Never before in my life would I have imagined this moment to happen. And especially to me, such a small YouTuber. Something that's also really amazing is I gained a couple subscribers after this and I am so thankful for you guys. Oh my gosh. To you guys who are subscribed to my channel and are watching this right now, Thank you guys so much. This is unbelievable. And I am so thankful for your guys' support of me. I can't even imagine. I didn't even imagine I'd be doing YouTube this well. I thought I was going to start filming videos and then give up halfway because YouTube is just so much hard work. But look, look where we are now. And this is because of you guys. You guys are so amazing and I can't thank you guys enough. I just can't. I can't even comprehend that there's over 40 of you who want to watch my videos regularly. That is so awesome. So yeah, I'm basically still like on this kind of natural high where I can't believe that they liked my tweet back in, I don't even remember, March? No, it wasn't March. Wow, that's too far back. In May. They liked a tweet of mine in May. I got VIP tickets to see them. I'm going to not only see them live in November, but I'm going to meet them in person. I've got their limited edition booklet. Whoa, upside down. And they retweeted me. So you guys, don't ever give up. Don't ever think that YouTubers don't pay attention to you no matter how big they are. They really do care about you guys. And I'm gonna tell you guys right now, I don't know if I'm ever going to hit it off pretty big on YouTube. I don't know how far this channel's gonna go. But if by some will of God, I end up getting bigger in any way and can't afford to reply to everyone's comments at some point, know that each and every one of you will always mean something to me and I will forever be thankful for your guys' presence. That is my favorite part about YouTube is the interaction between the YouTuber and its audience. That is so amazing. And I never want to lose you guys to fame. I never want to lose you guys to that, ever. So this is me saying it right now, that if I ever become big, I don't want to be one of those people who just completely abuses their fan base or completely ignores their community. Because you guys mean so much to me. And stuff like this just asserts that to me. Because the fact that Red and Link made doing that one thing for me meant that much to me. One day if I ever become that big, if I can do that to a fan, I want that fan to feel the same way I'm feeling right now. Because it's one of the best feelings ever to know that someone you look up to and someone you didn't think was ever going to notice you finally notices you in such a big way. And I mean, I can't believe it now because now I'm going to be going to meet them in November in person and I would have already kind of interacted with them and this is just insane guys this this Monday was just insane and I thought I would share it with you guys I just thought right now you guys I'd give you a very spontaneous update with as much fresh emotions as I can because if I waited until I usually film videos this would not have been as genuine as it is now so thank you guys so much for watching this video if you liked it be sure to give this video a big mythical thumbs up I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye! You're a piece of cookie dough, raw cookie dough. You've been molded and put together and you've been put in the fridge to set aside. When you're in the fridge, you're nice and firm. You know, you're not easily malleable. You're in one shape.